Come on. All right, we are back, and I have made my friends talk to us. Tanja and Anthony and the whole family. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey hello, everybody. hello. I said, if you guys don't talk to me about this car, I'll talk about it all by myself. But you guys would rather do this. I didn't know. I didn't even know. I'm going to sneak over this way. And let's come on over here. Anthony or whoever's talking about the car. Anthony, Anthony okay. Everybody knows Tanja is all is always in the mix That's in right. this, too. That's so, right. So she can say Anthony's talking, but I know she's thinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's talk about the car. And I did not know you were into the collectible cars. Yeah, it's a 68 Camaro. It's been modified, uh, all the modern stuff on it, electronic condition. Uh, it's been, it's a bolt-on rest restoration. Tanja, why, uh, why Camaro? I'm curious. That's been his, uh -huh. that's been his dream car since day one. My, my first car, 67 Camaro. I mean, it's just our age, you know, it's our age group, and it's, it's like you're, you're thinking back of the memories and the cool cars, and if you had this in high school, who you could have been. That's right. <laughs> that's right, that's right. What you could have done. That's right. Yeah. Um, so how much of the work have you done yourself? Because I know you do None. a lot. Oh. I bought it. I, I started a car years is. ago, and it didn't work out good. So I told her the next one I get would be ready to go. You guys don't have a lot of time. You have a farm. You have ATM motors. You guys don't have a lot of time. Grandkids. Church. Yes. Yes. Right. Church and church. Thank you very much. Uh, let's talk about the rims, though. Did you pick them, or they come with the car? They came with the car. Ooh, whoever the car. sold you this car yeah. knew what they were doing, because I really like those wheels. Um, how much you drive the car? Uh, we've had it since July, and probably four times I've had it on the road. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, is this a family car, or is this the you and the wife get away and drive away from everyone car? Me and the wife get away. That's right. Drive away <laughs> from the family. In the that's car, right. That's right. Away well, from uh, she said, yeah, away. Yes, away. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us, guys. I'm very happy for you. Never forget when you eat steak, I eat steak, huh? <laughs> All right, those are my great friends. We've uh, we've known each other for years, and um, gosh, you get so busy. I didn't even know they were into the classic collectible cars. We've been friends for 22 years, she said. And I didn't even know they had bought this car. Not that I'm jealous. I'm not petty like that, but I'm happy for them. <laughs> Come on, let's head on to the next one. Bye, Tanja. Go on, see them about vehicles. ATM Motors is... Uh, Gosh, they're located in Martinsville, and uh, it's a buy here, pay here lot. I'll do a little plug for them. How about that? This is pretty neat. I love the orange. Everybody who knows me knows that I love orange. Is it one of you guys' cars? Can you talk to me about it? Because I do love it. Okay, this is, let me tell you something funny that I always say. I always say, because orange is like my favorite color, that it's my inner black woman. But I think we all have an inner black woman. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like orange? <laughs> well, it was, a, it's original. I oh mean, that's gosh, I mean, that car is phenomenal. I love that color. Yeah, my dad had this car. I believe he, believe he loved it more than he loved me. <laughs> this has been in the family that long. Yeah, dad had this car forever, and uh, when he passed away, I was, me and my brother, you know, we got it, and uh, do you share it, or did you guys um, wrestle for it? I mean, what happened? Well, he, he did, I kind of, I kind of wound up with it, <laughs> and uh, we. Uh, I'll wrestle you for it. I yeah. feel like something like that happened. This is, I mean, uh, let me talk about the interior, which is black on black, and it looks very clean. Have you had to do anything to it? I hadn't done a thing to it. It's um, it's a 1970 Nova original 350 with air conditioner in it. And you don't see that you much. You can't beat air conditioner in 1970. Well, I've walked around here and um, I've seen 71, 72, and all of them's got souped up motors. Mm -hmm, and this mm -hmm. is all original. This thing, this thing's just like it come off a factory floor. Your dad took really good care of it. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, very, very good care. And you're carrying on that tradition. I am, I am. Uh, I've got two boys and. Uh, I've got a little 65 Mustang at home. It's nice too. And something uh, about your dad and you and your brother, though, because this orange color. I mean, you got to be bold to have the orange vehicle, because you know everybody's looking at you wherever you go. That's that's what it is. Ah, I mean, you like, no you problem. want the pretty you want the prettiest car out of you, you know. <laughs> and that's what I think I got so yeah, far. Yeah, so, yeah. You know. Beautiful vehicle. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, what a what a great car. He's right. I mean, come on. Dad kept it like that. He's keeping it like that. Keeping it in the family. Tradition. By the way, across the way here, we're going to have a whole uh, bunch of Mustangs here. And how you doing? There's the 5.0, ready to go, drop top, beautiful, Coyote 50. Uh, we've got some really great examples of varying years of Mustangs. Mustangs are, guys, they're, they're like Camaros. They're like um, some of the real classic vehicles that they never grow old. They never, I mean, you could buy a 2017 Mustang or a 1967 Mustang and you're still going to have the, a car that you know is going to be a classic, right? we got to get the Danville Mustang Club down here, don't we? Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll end up coming up. Uh, I'm sure that some of the vehicles here are from some of the areas like we know, Madison, North Carolina, Danville. Because it's all about Star News Networking, of course. We have um, more car shows than any other station around here. So we network a lot. Of, you notice a lot of people from regional are coming here. 
coming from Danville, and it's got to be because of the Star News Network. You oh, know I it. think so. I think so. I think it's fun watching the, the repeat of the show and seeing your car on Star News. But we're going to focus on Bassett today. Okay. <laughs> All right, we uh, see people checking things out here. Beautiful. That's a 1940. That's an early Ford. I know that's right. It's an early Ford, a 1940. I feel like I may have seen this vehicle before, but for our viewers, it may be a first time. A 1940, um, it's a Ford. Ford, my gosh. I mean, whether you're driving a Mustang or something like this 1940, I mean, classic vehicles, beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. Um, let's talk about American made, my gosh. I mean, you get excited about it, don't you? When you see vehicles like this that are still this pristine and looking this good, and you know what, they're running. Charles, that's what I said to the guys at the uh, truck club. What really matters is that your vehicle can still run. Right. I just want to thank all the viewers that, that seen the show and come down and check it out. Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about this, by the way. Real quick, that's a pretty neat uh, design uh, addition. I would say design addition as we kind of come on over here. Uh, head on back if you can, and I want to show everybody this. Is it a truck? Is it a car? Is it a truck? Is it a car? It's a little bit of both. And check it out. You don't see that normally there where uh, the hood just kind of pops up like that. And it's for sale. This is also a great way for you to find classic vehicles that you love for sale and wheel and deal. I haven't seen these many cars. We've got a few more minutes to go here, but I haven't seen as many cars as I have tonight yeah, with on the double parking lot over there. I know. It. This is just a growing, growing cruise in. Can we kind of walk down a little bit further? We're heading towards the river, and today was a perfect day for this weather. I mean, it wasn't as hot as it has been, um, but uh, not cool yet. We're going to head down. It's a 1965. We've got this Ford. Oh, beautiful. Come on. It's a 1956. Good looking vehicle. It's yours, isn't it? Well done, sir. Well done. Beautiful. Um, every bit of this truck is clean. I mean, I would say this is like almost spit shined. It's so clean. <laughs> you can tell there's a lot of washing and waxing going into this vehicle. And let me just holler at you and ask you how many coats of paint? Just one? Uh -huh. Three, three red, three clear. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about that because, you know, when you see these vehicles and they have this kind of a high sheen right here. Come on now, that's recognizable. He's got three coats of paint on this vehicle and he's got three, uh, three coats of clear. That's what's gonna give it that really high shine look. But look at the engine too. I'm an engine girl. Check it out. What? It, that's a 5.0. <laughs> like you would think you'd see this in a Mustang. Am I right about it? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a 5.0. You're normally gonna see that in a Mustang, but check it out. It's, it's in this classic Ford. Somebody over there's a genius. That's all I gotta say. You can keep eating, but you're a genius, sir. I love it, I love it. All right, guys, and uh, folks are kinda coming in and coming out. Before we go, gotta check this one out. That's a 1957 Duke Lancer. Check it out. I like he's got the guitar. He's obviously ready to rock. And we're rocking here, and of course, uh, cruise ins happen every month. And we, next one coming up in October. October. So uh, we encourage you to come out and check it out. And uh, this seems to be um, getting bigger and bigger every time. I'm really liking, uh, by the way, I'm really liking today's vibe. It's very chill out here. Uh, not too hot, not too cool. Everybody's kind of hanging out. How you doing? Have y'all gotten shots up the, behind the office? Got oh yeah, oh there. yeah. We're we're getting them from all the way around. Is that what you mean? Well, I'm talking about it. They've taken down the fence here, and they've got the greenway open all the way up on the river. So that you can kind of park and over there and check things out. You mean this fence here? Yeah. Yeah. It's down from there to the river. There's a there's a so, there's a real cool vibe here today. Oh, it's. Are you feeling it? It's great. Are you vibing? <laughs> yes, yeah. He's like, yeah, I My guess feet so. are. Yeah, I know. He's like, if you say so, Jess. All right, we'll go show it. One o'clock? Okay, we'll go show what you're talking about. Um, the Bassett Cruise Inn, a GBAC event, has uh, really gotten things going. People are checking out Bassett more than ever before, heading on over to Papa's Pizza. He says he loves the Bassett uh, Cruise Inn, by the way, and he's a great sponsor. My pizza. Oh, yeah, he's a great sponsor. <laughs> Um, what's some of, let, let me ask you something. What's some of the coolest um, vehicles that you can, you know, we don't like to pick and choose, but we all have favorites. I know I do. What's some of the coolest vehicles you've seen? Well, everybody likes a 40 Ford. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's drawn to a 40 Ford. Yeah. And These Fords are amazing out here. I guess it's a history of them from the 
days of bootlegging on up to racing to whatever. It's a sort of romantic history, even though it is a bootleg sort of history. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, and when it comes to racing, and we've been talking about the fact that these classic cars, I mean, they're still on the road. They're, they're still amazing. They're, they're quality made, and oh, yeah. that's what we're seeing here today. Right. You can't repair a car made today. No, I mean, uh, you can't restore it. Yeah. There's nothing to restore. <laughs> and, you know, it's and it's hard a, to repair it, too. We were talking about that. Yeah. It's a piece of junk. And so <laughs> that's why this gentleman down to Cola is doing so well, yeah, you know. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And, uh, because of there's no use for them. Junking vehicles, right? Yeah. But you wouldn't junk any of these. And if you do find any of these where you can get them out of a junkyard, you better hurry up and buy them, right? Yeah, it's not many left. That's the truth. Thanks for talking to us. Uh, yeah. Very cool. <laughs> thank you, sir. The Bassett Highway 57 Cruise-In Committee and the GBAC would like to thank you for watching this telecast.